if you haven't had to ask yourself that hard question, which is, if I don't become a mother in this lifetime, will I be okay? people thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel i am darla and you are tuned into the 30 journey here i share my life lessons experiences and journey through my 30s with you from a faith perspective and if any of that sounds interesting you should subscribe join the ttjrny tribe and follow me on instagram all right y'all let's talk so i got a comment on one of the videos where i talked about being over 30 and childless and a lot of the the things the questions, the intrusive comments and overstepping and just a lot of different thoughts and things that come with being over 30 and childless. Usually I don't give a lot of energy to the negative comments and the things that are, you know, spewed with hate from people that don't even know me. But I really wanted to talk a little bit more about this because I think that some things need to be really brought to the light and i really want to share it with you guys so the comment says your advice works for the nine percent of women it doesn't work for the 91 percent having a husband and children is the best experience you can have as a woman and at 37 you're really playing with fire trying to have a child and you're not married yet so first and foremost i have to address the fact that 36 not 37 yet we're almost there but not yet bro you did a little homework but not enough it's the part about playing with fire and trying to have a child and you're not married yet that's the part i really want to talk about and break out of this this comment i have to say and it just has to be said duh see this is the thing about really entertaining foolishness sometimes. My thing is, I stated the obvious the entire video. I let you guys know that my faith journey and where I am in life and the things that I'm believing for will always sound crazy. And at the end of the day, even though that is a big part of my journey, I am not naive, I am not oblivious, I live in the real world, I don't live online, so therefore I know what this decade of life comes with and also I know where I am in life like most women do. And here's the thing about a lot of men, especially men that leave comments like this. These men, a lot of these men y'all will do this because it gives them something, very much something that is definitely layered lathered and smothered with a false sense of this is how I can humble you try this is how I can try to humble you and make you feel as small as I need you to feel because this is the one thing that I can dangle over your head and that's why I don't entertain these things especially coming from men and people women too because women will definitely try this too people have this need to try to humble you, to make you feel some type of way or as if they're bigger or better than you because of where they are in life compared to where you are because of societal standards. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna question and challenge a lot of the people that may be watching this video right now that have done that. Why? And y'all seriously, I know this doesn't just happen to me. I know this happens to y'all too. So many women have attested to the fact that people try to come at them with questions and things, especially if you are in this decade of life and you haven't conceived yet, you haven't had a child, you haven't been married, all of those things, again, like I said, that they try to dangle over your head. And my thing is, I don't want you to boast in, you know, not being married or not having children or being single. I celebrate these things because at the end of the day, what's the alternative? I've always said that the union of marriage, the blessing of a child is just that. They are blessings and they are beautiful. But at the end of the day, it is not the end all be all. And when, not if, when my time comes within both of those seasons, I want to allow myself to know that it's a beautiful blessing to be both a mother and a wife. 
But again, it will still not define me. Y'all, I would not be believing for these things had it not been placed on my heart to believe for these things. I really thought that I would possibly have a child by 33. Like that was kind of my number for the longest, FYI. Prior to that time and getting closer to that age, y'all, I had to have a hard conversation with myself. I had to have a hard prayer moment with God because at the end of the day, that was not something I was striving for in any way, but it's just something that I thought would possibly be for me at that time in my life. And as I was getting ready to approach that age, again, I had to have a hard conversation with myself and I had to ask myself a very hard question at that time in my life because again, I'm not naive, I'm not oblivious to where I am. I know the complications that come with having a child later in life as opposed to earlier. I know that there are so many things that have been put against us as women, especially black women when it, when it comes to maternal health care. And what I really want you guys to know is if you haven't had that hard conversation with yourself, if you haven't had to ask yourself that hard question, which is if I don't have a child, if I don't become a mother in this lifetime, will I be okay? I mentioned this question that I had to ask myself in this video because it's a real question. And to be honest with y'all, I have asked this question to men that have dated me. Because at the end of the day, I'm not gonna be pressured into trying to have a child for you when you know I'm at this big age. This is something that I truly want to ease into as well. Carrying life, that is big. That is not something you take lightly. So if a man is saying, yes, I want children, I want three, and I'm 36 now? First of all, you're not about to sit up here and have me rushing to meet your goals. No, if we talk about family planning and that's something we decide as a family and we also decide to ease into this and allow God to bless us in whatever way he does regarding this journey, that makes sense. But rushing into this, like I said, to try to meet a goal because this is something on your checklist that you want, sir, I'm gonna ask you, and I have asked men too, you wouldn't rather date someone younger. Because again, y'all, this is not something I'm trying to rush into and do tomorrow. Again, asking yourself that hard question and being okay with that answer, which I was. I, at that time, I literally said, I would be just fine. As long as I could pour into the children around me, as long as I can serve and be in purpose in some way, shape, or form and give, as long as I can continue to be rich auntie, rich big cousin, rich whatever, in whatever aspect of life that I am in and continue to give in some way, shape, or form, I will fulfill my task and feel fulfilled within that task while I'm here. That's just what it is for me. And some women are not okay. They have that desire within them for a child. And that's something I personally believe you have to bring to God. And all of those things. And like I said, I talked about this in that video. Taking this type of risk and gamble is something that only God can allow me to do. Because again, if it was up to me, I would be like, the ship has sailed. It is what it is. I'm going to continue to live my life to the fullest and it's going to be great. That does not stop me from saying that I'm going to be married, I'm going to be a wife, but if I don't become a mother, then I'm okay with that. And some women are not okay with that, but sis, you gotta be responsible for the decisions that you have made up until this point that has gotten you here. And I want you to be very real with yourself about this. But men coming in the comments throwing this stuff over your head trying to make you feel some type of way because they feel as if that that should be your main goal is not what I'm going to tolerate over here. I'm not. That's why I really wanted to make this video and expound on this a little bit more because again, I find it so funny that so many people love to try to dangle things in front of you to try to make you feel some type of way when you're literally watching people's lives fall apart because of those decisions that they rushed into that they want to try to make you feel bad about not rushing into. And more than anything of becoming a mother, I want to be in alignment of what that looks like for me in my life. God had not placed a desire in my heart to believe for a family, because I always said this as well, I would not give my womb to a man I'm not married to. 
my friends, my coworkers, anybody that really knows me will tell y'all that has been my jam for years. And that was way prior to the 30 journey, okay? My thing is I'm sticking by that because at the end of the day, I know what that means. I know the importance of that. That was why I said, if for whatever reason, this is not my journey, I'm not gonna be sad about it. I'm gonna have a nice big old cry because I feel as if I would make an amazing mother. But at the end of the day, it's not gonna stop me from mothering whatever child or children need me in this world. There are so many young girls, there are so many women that need role models. And if I can be that in some way, shape or form, then so be it. But again, like I said, God placed the desire to, for me to believe for something greater than me. One thing that I also want to share before I go, I found that there was a woman in my extended family that I didn't even know had a child in her early 40s. I was like, what? I realized it was so close to me, y'all, that it's not even funny. And I didn't have a chance to talk to her about this because I didn't realize it until she passed away. I had it so close to me and didn't really know it. I thought that was really beautiful to really see it that close and know that it truly exists. And I know it exists, I see women do it all the time. But again, I realize that there are so many health complications and risks right now that so many women deal with regarding conceiving later in life. But it's not impossible and it's not unheard of. And I love the fact that if this is my journey, I know that it's God ordained. And when I think about all the generational curses and things that I've been breaking, when I think about how I am regarding my health and the things that are so important, it all feels like preparation. It feels like I'm getting ready. Like I told y'all, I was very adamant about making doctor's appointments to make sure that things were aligned for that to be a possibility for me. I was tested for a lot of different things in order to find out where I am. Because at the end of the day, I want to have the best chance possible if that is the course of my life. Which again, like I said, God has me believing that it is. So therefore, I believe that it is. So anyway, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Comment below. Encourage someone below. Share your story below. I would love to hear it. Also, make sure you are subscribed and turn that notification bell on as well. You don't want to miss an upload. All right, y'all know what it is now, y'all. Don't just live a manifested life. Live a blessed life. Peace.